Hi everyone, this is a training video brought to you by Corec Group. During this video, we'll demonstrate how to carry out an integrated resection in Trimble Access. So integrated surveying is the process of using both a total station and GNSS receiver simultaneously during a survey. And in this particular video, we're going to use uh, an S5 total station, a Trimble R12i receiver with a TSC7 controller and an MT1000 prism or multi-track prism. Just one thing to note about um, the integrated surveying is the setup. So in this particular um, video, we're going to be using an MT1000 with an R12i. Um, and you can see the way it's set up there from the images. But just one, one other thing to note is the, the prism to antenna offset. And this is set as a template within the survey styles in Trimble Access. So for this particular combination, it's a 34 mil offset. Um, between center of prism and the bottom of it, the quick release on the R12i. If you're using a different prism or a different receiver, this is specified in the survey styles and then saved as a template. So for other similar videos in Trimble Access, be sure to check out our YouTube channel there at Correct Training and Support. And you can also feel free to browse our website, correctgroup.com. Okay, so this is a demonstration of a, an integrated resection using a Trimble S5 total station, an R12i receiver with an MT1000 prism and a TSE7 controller. So to start my survey, I have an integrated survey style here called Integrated S-Series MT1000. Um, just so you know, if I jump into settings, survey styles, and actually go into that template, Integrated S-Series MT1000, edit you just need to make sure if you're using an s series total station you have vx and s series set and in my case here i'm using my um the vrs network um but if you're using rtk or um or another survey style you need to have that set in here in the survey styles also the prism type is is important for the all set so in my case here i'm using the, the vx s series multi-track um but again if you're using another prism say you're using the active track you can see it adjusts the offset there automatically between center of prism and underside of receiver. So I'm going to select my multi track and store that. So it starts survey into measure, integrated S series MT1000, and I'm going to perform a resection. Waiting for information from the base. Starting robotic connection. Waiting for information from the base. So you can see it starts to connect to the Waiting GPS for first, corrections. And then the total station. Waiting for information from the base. This brings you into the electronic level for the total station. I'm happy enough with that. Target locked. So along the top here, if you tap in the top right, you can see I'm toggling between GNSS and total station. So just to do my integrated resection, I'm going to go into the R12i and turn off the IMU compensator, just for the purpose of the, the resection here. So in my resection, um, the first option is the instrument point name. That's where the instrument's set up over. So I usually just call this FS and a number for FS for free station. Um, we have a code in our library then for free station. Instrument height, I usually go zero. Um, check the box for compute sta station elevation if you want the 3D value. So if you want residuals displaying in the elevation, tick that box. If you're just concerned with 2D, you can uncheck it accept that then it asks you here for the first point on your resection so I'm just going to call these R for resection my first point here is R1 and um, my code will be station STN um, method angles and distances um, and I'm going to pop in here my pole height which is set to 1.8 also just double check you have the right prism selected so in this case I'm using my MT1000 
Target locked. And I've selected MT1000, and you can see here by the little total station icon with the solid black line is indicating the target is has locked. Okay, so to measure that point, if I try and measure it with the total station, it'll prompt you to measure it with the GNSS, as the point doesn't exist. So I I say yes to this. Okay. Get my e bubble up, and once I'm happy with the level, it's important to call the GNSS point the exact same name as the total station point you can see I have it there is R1 um, and my method here is a topo point three second measurement so when I hit measure it will measure the point with the GPS observation and stored away it'll switch to the total station observation the stored okay so that's the first point done and I can move down to the next location Call this one R2 STN. Make sure you're locked on. Get your bubble level. Measure. Point doesn't exist. Measure with GNSS, yes. R2 is my point name and also notice that your antenna height when you switch to GPS adds the offset between the center of prism and the other side of the receiver or the bottom of quick release in this case 0.834 so once I'm happy here my accuracy are good measure observation stored station. observation stored okay, and then you get residuals after two points so to check my results here okay so I'm not using a bipod or anything like that so I'm getting you can see my standard errors there easting 7 mil nording 6 elevation 6 orientation um, so the orientation is I spoke the position of the, the instrument setup in relation to the two points that I've just measured um, and you can see my orientation there um, so if I wanted to increase the accuracy of that, I can add a third point to it. At this point, you notice I can't hit store, and it will save the resection. But I'm going to record one more point here. So to add one more point onto it, you just hit, hit escape, and you come back to the main table results here, and I'll just hit the plus point, and then we'll go with our three station point angles and distance is 1.8 same story again okay get my e-bubble back up again and once I'm level I can measure observation stored out of tolerance okay we'll get that Stores another observation stored and check your results. And then you can see they've come right down there easting three, northing three, elevation six, and the orientations come down to 36 seconds. As you can see, I'm getting a nice surrounding my, my setup with my control. So, I'm pretty happy with that. If you wanted another one, you can always escape and add another point. Um, but in this case, I'm pretty happy and I can hit store. Station setup completed. Station setup stopped. GPS search so ready. I'm off to do a topo survey. I can just tap in the top right hand corner to toggle between GNSS and the total station depending on what you're what you're measuring with. 